and welcome to this week's edition of the AMC News Dispatch. I'm Beth Clemens with the Office of Public and Congressional Affairs. We're on location in Huntsville, Alabama this week to discuss the impacts of BRAC on the health care system in the Tennessee Valley region. With the relocation of several DOD organizations to the area, questions have been raised on the ability of the local health care providers to meet the needs of this growing community. Quality of Care Crestwood Medical Center is a 150-bed acute care general hospital located in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. We have uh, a, um, a very busy emergency department, saw over 36,000 visits last year, and we have uh, 550 physicians on our medical staff, uh, cover uh, over 50 spe medical specialties, so pretty much any physician that uh, you'd need we have on our medical staff. Huntsville has already been growing, and as a healthcare entity we have been, uh, we have been keeping pace with that growth uh, by providing uh, upgrades to our physical plan plant and uh, a new service line. We have also expanded our um, number of beds. Uh, until uh, this past year we were a 120 bed hospital. Now we've uh, just bought th brought 30 beds online this past summer and in that expansion project that we uh, did that made made uh, the 30 beds possible, we've expanded our infrastructure, major renovations to the original footprint of the hospital in terms of our supply chain, our um, cafeteria and, and public services, and then uh, also built in growth capacity so that we can add up, up to another 60 beds. We're poised to deal with the growth in our community and, and poised in a way that will allow us to respond much more quickly. Because we were formed in 1895, so we've been serving this community for a very long time. Uh, we're a public not-for-profit hospital. We exist solely to take care of the health care needs of the Tennessee Valley. Uh, we are the second largest hospital in Alabama, one of the largest hospitals in the southeast. We have the only women and children's hospital. We're the trauma center for all the North Alabama, Tennessee Valley. Uh, we have the only open heart surgery program. We do all the neurosurgery uh, for this area. Uh, we have PEDS uh, general surgery. There are a lot of things that Huntsville Hospital provides to this region. We've signed a formal affiliation agreement with St. Jude's to bring pediatric oncology and hematology care uh, to our community. Uh, we've continued to expand the system outside the downtown area by, by continuing to expand our uh, services in the Madison community. Uh, we purchased land in the Hampton Cove area. So we're trying to take health care out to the community. Uh, in addition to that, we've opened a new bed tower that's got uh, 83 state-of-the-art beds uh, in that bed tower. Uh, we're in about four months away from finalizing a brand new emergency department that will be one of the largest emergency departments in the United States. We'll have about 100 treatment rooms when we finish that in June. The average hospital in America has about 12,000 admissions. We have over 50,000 admissions a year. Uh, the average emergency department will see somewhere in the neighborhood of 30,000 patients a year. We'll see close to 135,000 patients in our ED. Uh, our outpatient uh, visits range in the neighborhood of five to 600,000 outpatient visits a year. So we're a very busy tertiary center taking care of all of the north uh, the Tennessee Valley. A lot of recruiting, particularly of subspecialties that are needed in the community, additional trauma surgeons, pediatric surgeons, pediatric endocrinology. Uh, we're working with the UAB School of Medicine to expand the number of residencies, residencies that we have in this community. The purpose of the Huntsville campus is to provide clinical education in the third and fourth year of medical school and to train family medicine residents to go out to North Alabama. North Alabama uh, has benefited greatly from the Huntsville Regional Medical Campus for the last 35 years. Um, we have a large number of family physicians in North Alabama who trained in this program. This is one of the uh, top 10 places to practice medicine in the country uh, and I think the reason it is is because it's such a collegial atmosphere and we have a very good uh, support both from primary care and subspecialists. The role of the family practitioner. When you have a primary care physician taking care of you, that physician can be the conductor of your medical orchestra. So if you have a cardiologist, an endocrinologist, and a surgeon, somebody has to keep track of all the things, and the family physician is in the best position to do that for each individual and for the entire family. If you don't have a physician connection from where you're moving from to down here to get you into a specialist, our community, uh, most of the specialists get their, get their patients referred from primary care physicians, that being uh, 
uh, pediatricians, family practice, internists, those types of physicians would refer to the specialists like the cardiologists and the neurologists and neurosurgeons. So uh, establishing that primary care home first is the best way to get connected with a specialist if you need a specialist. The model in our community is, is to establish a primary care home uh, and that that physician will handle the bulk of the, of the medical needs of your family and has a large cadre of specialists that they can lean on um, when the needs of the patient exceed what they're able to provide in their office. Advice from the experts. If I were relocating, I would first go talk to my, uh, my family doctor, the person who's responsible in general for the care of the folks in my family. If you use a pediatrician or an, intern or an internist, this advice would, would uh, match for that as well. And just let them know where you're relocating to. Our healthcare professionals, our physicians, come from all over the country, from medical schools all over the country. And it is likely, highly likely, that your physician may know someone, a physician in our community. The most important thing you can do is get a summary of your medical records and have them with you. Don't wait for your physician to send them to your new physician, but actually have a copy with you. Prescriptions, have the entire list of prescriptions with all the bottles so that you can bring them into the new physician so there's no doubt about what you're taking, at what doses, and at what frequency. If you have a need for a subspecialist and you're already seeing a subspecialist like a cardiologist or someone like that, I would recommend that they try to get that physician to call down to this group, tell them who they are and they got a patient that's under that uh, care and see if you can get them connected directly with that subspecialty group. Ready for BRAC transfers. I believe that the Huntsville Regional Medical Campus has had a major positive impact over the past 35 years in doing a wonderful job of training family physicians to be primary care providers to the people moving into the Tennessee Valley. Thankfully, we've had some time to prepare for the arrival of our new uh, community members and that uh, we'll do, uh, do our very best to make sure that it's a transition that works well. This town loves the military and we're looking forward to do whatever we can to, to try to make this move as easy as possible for everybody that's coming down. To assist those relocating to the Huntsville area find a health care provider, both local hospitals have established hotlines to match patients with physicians. Call Crestwood Medical Center at 256-429-5000 or visit their website at www.crestwoodmedcenter.com or call Huntsville Hospital's hotline at 866-581-BRAC or visit their website at www.huntsvillehospital.org. For more information about this topic, visit the AMC BRAC website at www.amc.army.mil backslash trans or comment on the issue on the BRAC blog at http colon backslash backslash hqamcbrac.wordpress.com. Well, that's it for this week's edition of the AMC News Dispatch. We'll see you next week.